incredibly well-respected guy in the business. He never talks down to anybody. He's always helping others. Kind and thoughtful and uh, crazy at the same time. <laughs> we never thought that he would go that far, all the way to the top. Lead cores come a long ways in the 20 years that I've been with them. Uh, 20 years ago, we did $100 million worth of work a year in all the different groups. Uh, we're now doing uh, in excess of $2 billion a year. The most prestigious project uh, that we're working on that I'm involved with is the bow out of Calgary. Vancouver-wise, it's Shaw Tower, the Shangri-La, buildings out at UBC, including life sciences. Too many to mention. playing in the sandbox and he, we saw some wood so he says well we'll make a fort he says you hold this piece of wood and I said okay yep yeah. and he picked up the other piece of wood to bang it into the ground but he hit me over the head and I had blood running down my face I was running home and <laughs> so that was early start to construction well he's still the boss now and uh, I'm still playing in the dirt <laughs> I remember one year at Christmas I think he was four years old. He had a, a big Tonka trucks, and he guided and heard it, and nobody could touch it. And I think uh, something must have rubbed off to later on to choose to go in construction, BCIT. Started by thinking about going into engineering and then going to the architecture school, and, and uh, did a little bit, did a stint at UBC, did a stint at SFU. Um, then found out about BCIT and, and the uh, building technology program. So what I found with the BCIT instructors is that they had the, um, current knowledge of, of what was happening in the industry today as opposed to something out of a textbook from 20 years ago. I'm in the atrium of the BCIT Aerospace Campus in Richmond, BC, which was built by LEDCOR. Peter's being recognized for this award uh, because he truly cares about the construction industry and what benefits their products provide for community. He takes his leadership also beyond the walls of LEDCOR in helping us educate our students and the future leaders of the construction industry. Recently, uh, LEDCOR's generous contribution to our school has provided us not only the cash to buy some a very important capital equipment, but also the expertise. And case in point is our 40-ton crane for steel trades and for use all over the campus. We've hired numerous BCIT grads over the years, and, and that's there's a reason for that because they they're well they're well trained, right? And they come out not just in the in the building construction side of the business, but in finance and HR and all throughout the company. Day at, uh, at LEDCOR would uh, start with coffee. No, <laughs> it can range from everything from you know going going to visit sites, uh, uh, meetings, which uh, you know everybody hates the meetings, but they're necessary evil. Um, answering emails, um, just giving guidance to the various people that work with me. When there's issues that elevate themselves to my level, then I won't necessarily solve the problem, but I'll find the people that can help solve the problem. The most important lesson that I've learned to date uh, it has to go back to teamwork. Because you need to talk to people, and it's not just the people above you to get, to get advice, it's the people below you to get advice, um, because the decisions you make at the end of the day have a lot more impact when, when you've done that. Peter's a very honest, um, he has got great integrity. It doesn't matter who he's with, he makes whoever he's with very comfortable. It, it, it's, it's good to see, you know, you don't have to be an uh, to be a president. Sorry, right. you're not going to say that. <laughs> I've known Peter for uh, 25 years. Peter's a consensus builder. In our business with the strong personalities that we have is important. But he's very competitive. Uh, as you know, he is a competitive swimmer. Once I'm wet, I'm okay. It's just that initial getting wet. Swimming, 
which I think brought him this far. The discipline he had to do, he moved away a very early age. At 15, he moved to Vancouver to swim with the Canadian Dolphins, which became the national team. And he went to the World Championships, uh, Commonwealth Games. The last thing he was going to do was go to um, the Olympics, but he caught hepatitis in Mexico and put his career to an end. Well, my relaxing is, uh, some people think it's a little wonky, but uh, I, do, I do sports. I swim once a week. I play hockey once or twice a week. Hey, boy, Pete! Nice <laughs> shot! Just another four minutes of snack time. Uh, right now, I'm training for the Grand Fondo. Grand Fondo is a, is a race to Whistler. It's 120 kilometers. There's uh, 7,000 riders. The first of the riders will be there in just under three and a half hours. Uh, we'll be a little longer than that. <laughs> My family consists of uh, three beautiful daughters uh, and uh, one uh, future stepdaughter and, and uh, fiance that uh, I got engaged to uh, four months ago. His qualities are his uh, his kindness and his um, his desire to know people's opinions and to listen. He's such a great listener and he is a friend. So he loves to be with everybody, uh, has these beautiful vacations and brings everybody together either here or in Whistler or in Silver Star or just places where we can all get together. And when we're together eating, drinking, playing games, laughing, talking, um, just being together. And I'm very proud of everything he's achieved, and I've only had the honor of being in his life a short period of time, um, but it's been a fabulous short time and looking forward to many years to come. It's, it's a highlight, I think, for him to have this achievement done. Yeah, that, I think, well, I'm be proud, but I think he only deserves it. Being able to balance my, my work my family and my personal life and, and being able to do all that and, 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 be, and be pretty successful at all, all three of them. That's an important balancing act.